On this mega table here, we have things, and we're gonna build, first of all, a scrim, the big window light scrim. And uh, what we've done is pre-cut some tubes, so let's start assembling them. And what we wanna do is to lay them out, so you're gonna want to pre-cut, not this up on the screen or not here, but three pipes, and you can buy the um, PVC pipes in the eight foot lengths or 10 foot lengths, and then you cut them down. So you want to cut three 36 and a half inch pieces. All right, who's going to help me here? Elaine, come on up. Well, help me start with this assembly part. And then we have four 34 inch pieces. Okay. So the 34 inch pieces are going to be your vertical. And the 36s will be the across. And we'll have to save one for the middle if we want to do a middle piece. So it looks something like that. And then we have our corners and our T's. OK, this is a test. Now, where do the corners go? On the corner. And where do the T's go? <laughs> You're such a tease. <laughs> Uh, don't attach them yet, honey. Well, why not? Because we've got more stuff to do before oh, okay. we attach them. She's good, though. She's, she's, I know what I'm doing. She's jumping ahead. All right. Typically, you would get some glue. This is uh, glue for PVC. And you're not going to glue all of them because you want this to be able to come apart, right? So we want to be able to quickly take it apart, put it back together. But some of the pieces should be stuck together. So. You can choose to glue, and what I do is I decide which ones want to stay together. So maybe uh, this T and this corner will stay on. I'll glue those, but making sure to leave the other ones apart so then I can fold it down. It's just one small strip of things. And we're going to put in the middle of all of this some elastic. You can open up some of that and get ready to trim some off. So we want to run elastic through the pipe, the whole outer perimeter, so that when we take it apart, it doesn't go all over the place. <laughs> it makes it a little easier to assemble it back together again. Okay. This is a knife. Use it carefully. You can use that to cut that if you want once we get that open. Um, tape measure. So once we put together the scrim, and I don't think we'll do the glue because we don't really need to use the glue for this, this one here, but what you would do is decide which ones, this is a helpful thing, which ones you're going to glue and which ones you're not. And then I usually mark on here a little arrow on the ones that I'm not going to glue so that I know where to pull. <laughs> Otherwise, you end up pulling on one that's glued and you're wondering why it's not coming apart. So I'll draw little arrows on those because those are ones that won't be glued. These will be glued. This one won't be glued. So I'll put a little arrow on that. Something like that, okay? And then you would glue them. All right, so you're going to run that through each one of the pieces around the perimeter. All together? Do you need help? Or does it need to be cut? No, you can run it first, and then we'll cut it. Down one whole giant way? Yep, and it has to go through the corners and everything, too. So okay. you can maybe start here, run it into there, and just run it down like I did a mousey going into housey. All right. This is a true test. This is probably the hardest part of them. Then we got some harder ones. I will assist. So again, the reason for this cord is to make life simpler when it comes apart and goes back together again. It's not 100% necessary. It doesn't hold it together in any way, but it does make the uh, whole thing just work better. Kevin, can you remind us, is that three-quarter inch PVC? Yes, it should be up on the screen, but maybe not. This is a three-quarter inch okay. um, and schedule 40. Um, just so you guys know, when you're getting PVC, there are different uh, thicknesses, the diameter, not the, not the diameter, but the actual wall thickness. Schedule 40 is a little thicker, uh, which means it's a little more sturdy, doesn't flex as much. If you get the thinner one, you could find your frame is all going over the place. So make sure you get the three-quarter inch Schedule 40, and when you buy the corners and T-fittings, make sure you don't accidentally buy threaded ones because they won't go on. They just need to press fit on, okay? 
Don't laugh, because we had that happen once before. <laughs> Give me a little more slack there. Come through, come through. All right, so the other parts that you're gonna do while we're assembling this here is you're gonna go to the fabric store and you're gonna get parachute cloth, nylon, that is translucent. It's a, that ripstop nylon is pretty good because it's um, sturdy and it has about the right translucency, but you may need to look around to find something that's just the right translucency. And some elastic, I use one inch wide elastic and that's gonna go across the corners of your parachute cloth so that it will hold on when you slip it onto this thing. Get a little more slack there. We're almost there. And the parachute cloth, we're not gonna sew it in class because I don't know how to sew very well. Um, just save time. So I have one that's already been sewn. I'll show you what it looks like and how you do the corners on this. So the centerpiece, I didn't run anything through the centerpiece. Obviously, that wouldn't really work. So what you want to do, Elaine, is to pull that somewhat snug, so make sure this is all reasonably tight. Okay. And take all the slack out of it. And then you want to pull it so that it's tight, so it's extended a little bit, and tie it off. So I'll hold that there. And you're going to tie it to this one here. Okay. So tie it, tie it, tie me a nice little knot. So basically you want it so that when it, no sorry, <laughs> more blood on my hands, when it's assembled there, okay. that just holds the pieces together, uh, but it can still give you some slacks so that when you take it apart, you're basically going to fold it up like this, and you're good to go, right? Portable. And then when you're ready to assemble it, it's pretty easy, you just throw it out, boom, Get your pieces in the right place, and then just press fit the corners and everything on there. So you don't need to press it too hard, but just press it and make sure that T is facing center. And wait, before you put the center one, let's put the crossbar in the center. Yeah, this is your parting gift, your lovely parting gift. You didn't press the corners on, though. Um, I I'm not sure I can give you an A in class yet. All right. Okay, so press your corners in nice and tight, and you should be good to go. So the tighter you press them, the harder it is going to get apart, but we're going to make sure it's nice and tight for our uses. Okay, so there's your frame. Hold on to that, peek through the window, smile. Ka-ching! And then we have our fabric. Here's a couple of them. You know the difference between these two different cloths is? This one's old. And it's yellow. <laughs> so, depending on how old your thing is, this is one I made a long time ago. Uh, so it's pretty old and dirty and gobbled up. Basically, you want to do your corners like this, your elastic. Okay, just stitch it across the corner, and that should hook over the top of this thing right here. Could you, could you glue it? Sorry, could you what? Could you glue it or Velcro it? Um, Velcro it? Mm -hmm. And glue the, glue the elastic to mm -hmm. that? I don't know if gluing it would hold it quite as well. Yeah, I know they have that glue-on stuff for they fabric. Have, yeah, they have no sew. Stuff you could try it. I don't know if it would hold. Why don't you go ahead and hook that one on the bottom there? And there you go. So there's your scrim. Um, people always ask, you know, about the, the crossbar. Will the crossbar create a shadow? And if you're lighting it from the back with a big, wide um, light pattern, that crossbar just gets absorbed in the light. You don't ever see it. But if you were going to be lighting this tight, say a beam that's maybe, sorry, I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> a beam that's only filling that much, which is totally possible to change the quality of your light, you want a little smaller light source, um, then your bar may show, especially if it's being real close, okay? But in general use, you won't even notice that bar in the, in the use of the thing. So how do we make it stand up by itself? So how do you make it stand up by yourself? Well, a couple things you can do. You can clamp it to a light stand, or you can make legs. 
these legs, I took the T and cut it in half. But the main thing if you're going to do this is you don't cut it exactly in half because then it'll just fall right off. So you cut it a little less than half, you know, so it's almost like a C that comes across the middle a little bit. Um, and then you can just clamp that right on like that and lean it back. It should just press snap right onto the frame. Okay, something like that. Um, there are different things you can do too. We have light stands over here. So of course, if you do have light stands in your studio, just regular light stand and clamp it to a light stand. Works great too. There's no uh, screw on the top of that one. So with the clamps that are in your EDC bag, which faux pas, my EDC bag is not near me, but uh, Caitlin, could you grab a clamp from my, or grab uh, the bag for me, please? You know those big gripper clamps? You just clamp that to that like that. That works pretty good. Okay, cool. Any other questions about the assembly of this? And then we'll start playing with it. Any questions so, in this studio? Let's see, could you, um, oh, go ahead, right here. Do you have to worry about the legs? Show with the light and everything, is that going to affect anything? The, 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 the no, PVC the, or these legs? The legs on the light stand. Um, you won't really worry about the legs showing too much because generally you're going to have your subject either okay. sitting right here or standing. Um, if you are worried about it, you can just rotate them a little bit. I'm having a hard time rotating because it's other thing. Rotate them that way. Okay. So they're slightly out of the way. They don't cast any shadows. But generally something like that is kind of how I use it. And were we able to see, could, were we able to see the back there? Yeah, let's rotate it, it around. around. maybe. Cool. 